After so many delays caused by Zack Arnold's men, Lucas had finally called a helicopter to take him and Rose Bauer to the shareholders meeting at DigiWorld Tech. They had landed on the roof of the building and had been met by the former CEO, Kevin Lee, who had remained loyal to the Bauer family and walked out of the meeting. He led them to the conference room. Zack Arnold gave a speech and shared his vision of the future with the shareholders. Within three years, the income of the company will double. Within five years, the annual net profit would be at least over $10 million. And within 10 years, DigiWorld Tech would become one of the biggest domestic companies and would enter the top 100. Stay with me and you'll be able to earn a lot of money. Everyone, before Zach could finish speaking, the conference room door opened and Kevin walked in. The shareholders quickly looked over. Seeing that Kevin had returned, they started to shout. Whoa, look, the son of a bitch is back. Didn't he leave already? What did he come back for? Hey, Kevin, what happened? Did you change your mind? Yeah, what happened to your principles and ambitions? I guess now you're going to have to kiss Zach's ass. Kevin, why did you come back? Zach chuckled and asked. Instead of replying... Kevin stuck out his chest. Welcome, Mr. Peters and Miss Bauer, he shouted. Everyone was puzzled. Mr. Who? Lucas and Rose walked in, and the conference room immediately fell silent. Kevin closed the door and hurried after them. Lucas and Rose walked up to the stage and confronted Zack. Kevin joined them. What are you standing there for? Hurry and get off the stage. Miss Bauer and Mr. Peters are here. You have no right to be standing there, he said to Zack. At that time, the other shareholders started shouting, Kevin, what the hell is going on? And who the hell is that guy? This is a shareholders meeting. Is that guy even a shareholder? Who let him in anyway? Get him out of here. Who does he think he is making a grand entrance like that? He's got no right to be here. Zack signaled for everyone to quiet down, and pretended to be confused. I've never seen this gentleman before. Good morning, sir. We haven't met. Who are you? He smiled and said. Lucas chuckled. Taking a step forward, he knocked Zack to the floor. Hey, what are you doing? Do you even know who you're dealing with? You're dead. How dare you disrespect Mr. Arnold? You have no right to even be here. Zack hesitated. The fact that Lucas was able to get Rose to the shareholders meeting after all the obstacles he'd thrown in her way showed that Lucas was no ordinary guy. Zack could feel in his heart that he'd met a strong opponent this time. Using force wasn't going to solve the problem. Zack knew he could only be reasonable. Sir, you're not a shareholder of DigiWorld Tech. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Otherwise, I'll call the police and have you arrested, Zack threatened. Lucas took out the share transfer agreement and held it up for everyone to see. Miss Bauer has already transferred all her shares to me. Here's the transfer agreement to prove it. If you don't believe me, you can come up here on stage and check. I'm now the majority shareholder, and I have the final say on DigiWorld Tech, he said. The other shareholders were all shocked. They ran up and gathered around Lucas, squeezing in to take a look at the share transfer agreement. It had the signatures of Lucas and Rose. Zack was furious. Damn it, you bitch! I've been trying to buy your shares for a long time now, but you wouldn't sell them to me. But now you've sold them to him? What? Is he more handsome than I am? He shouted at Rose. With Lucas by her side, Rose was no longer afraid. She walked forward and slapped Zack soundly. She'd endured his intimidation for so long, and that slap was hard enough to finally pour out all her anger. Zack and his supporters were stunned by the slap. What had happened to Rose? How dare she hit Zack? Zack quickly raised his hand to hit Rose, but Lucas was quicker. He rushed forward and grabbed Zack's wrist. Mr. Arnold, right? Did you want to hit someone much smaller and younger than you? How about this? Let's you and me play instead, Lucas uttered. With that, Lucas pushed Zack away. 
Now that the situation had become complicated, those who had supported Zack earlier no longer dared to speak. What if this kid was powerful? They didn't want to offend him. Zack refused to admit defeat. He turned to Rose. So what if you transferred your shares to him? Before you arrived, we all agreed to strip you of your managerial authority. You'll still receive dividends according to the number of shares you own, but you're no longer the manager of this company, he shouted. Rose kept silent. She was tired of his threats and his manipulation. And now that she'd transferred all her shares to Lucas, she was no longer the majority shareholder. There was no need for her to deal with Zack. Now it was all on Lucas. Lucas chuckled and replied, You guys are something. You've been plotting this for a while, haven't you? You want to seize control of DigiWorld Tech from the majority shareholder. Not only is that illegal, but it's against the company's articles. Are you even aware of that? Well, as the majority shareholder, let me tell you now, even if you all band together, you won't be able to bypass me and decide on anything. You don't have enough shares. The other shareholders didn't dare argue with Lucas. He was right. There were a lot more of them, but they all knew he had more shares than they had put together. Rose owned 50.5% of the company's shares. Now that she'd sold all her shares to Lucas, no one had more shares than he did. Even if the other shareholders all went against Lucas, it would be no use because their shares added up to less than 50%. Lucas now had the final say in any decision. But Zack wasn't about to give up. He immediately encouraged everyone to unite against Lucas. That didn't scare Lucas at all. If he were easily intimidated, he wouldn't have gone through all the trouble to get to the shareholders meeting in the first place. You can try to fool yourselves, but you know your little scheme isn't going to work. Effective immediately, I'm removing Zack from his position as vice president of the company, and none of you will be allowed to hold any management position in the company. All in favor? Lucas had hardly finished speaking when Kevin and Rose immediately raised their hands in approval. Zack and the rest expressed their opposition. Those who had started out supporting Rose and had started supporting Zack instead hesitated. Do you think you can oppose me? What I said was an order. Does anyone have the right to object? Kevin, please give the order for the entire company to take a break for half a day. Have everyone go to the square instead. It's time we had a town hall meeting for everyone, Lucas chuckled and said. Kevin quickly replied, Absolutely. I'll go arrange it now. Give me a moment, sir. With that, Kevin ran out of the conference room. He went to each of the departments to inform them of Lucas's order. All the DigiWorld Tech employees immediately stopped what they were doing and gathered in the square. Twenty minutes later, everyone was seated in the square, including the cleaning crew and the maintenance staff. Kevin ran back to the conference room and reported to Lucas in a loud voice. All employees are gathered in the square, Lucas. Is there anything else you want me to do? Smiling, Lucas shook his head. He then turned to Zack and the others. All right, let's go to the town hall meeting. Who's with me? He said. With that, Lucas walked out of the conference room, followed by Kevin and Rose. Mr. Arnold, what do we do now? Is that it? Are we going to admit defeat just like that? What do you propose to do? He's got more than half of the company's shares. We can't compete against him no matter what we do. Yeah, but if we admit defeat just like that, that would be humiliating. Mr. Arnold, if we can't take control of DigiWorld Tech, then we might as well destroy the company. If we can't have the company, then no one else can. Yes, let's trash the place. Then that guy will lose all the money he invested in the company. What do you think, Mr. Arnold? Come on, don't hesitate. This is the only way. I agree, let's do this. The shareholders tried to persuade Zack to go against Lucas. He couldn't resist their encouragement and ended up agreeing with them. All right, let's do it. Let's get out there and show them who's really in control of DigiWorld Tech, Zack said fiercely. With that, he immediately led everyone out of the conference room. 